Welcome to United by Trucks. Today, well, we got some cool things going on our OBS Brownie. This is our 88 Chevrolet Scottsdale, not Silverado. This is a base model truck. Many of you know it from the couple of previous videos we've done on this truck. Today is an exciting day because we get to tear it down. We're actually not taking the whole truck apart, but we're really just going to be taking the front end off and getting the motor and trans out over the next couple of days. This is a Sunday afternoon, so you're probably going to see me do a little work uh, today and then a couple of evenings, and then we're taking this thing on a trailer up to Illinois because we got some cool things coming for you next. So today we're going to focus on getting this front end off, getting this motor and trans out, and uh, having a good time. But first, Let's get Smokey out of here and uh, let's make some progress. Alright guys, so as I mentioned in the, uh, the intro, this is just a stock drivetrain. I think it's a 305, that's what came in this truck. It should be a 700R4. I think in, in an earlier video I said it might have been a Turbo 400. I've only felt three gears in this uh, in this truck, so who knows. We'll, we'll see a little more when we get it out. But yeah, we're going to start, uh, and we'll start by getting all this torn down. I've really spent the last little bit of time in the shop trying to get some tools organized. Sunday afternoon, let's make some progress. First things first, I'm just gonna start with a fan shroud here. I need to get that battery out of here, but I'm gonna do this first. <laughs> and this truck is, uh, well, pretty rough. I mean, as, as most of you probably know, this thing was a farm truck. I don't know why somebody wanted to use a half ton. Half ton short bed two wheel drive is a farm truck, but you can definitely tell it was. And uh, yeah, so it's we're probably about to make a mess. I don't think there's any antifreeze in here. This truck, I believe, is probably overheated before, so it's uh, it's got quite a few things going for it. I think I'm gonna pull that box over here instead of walking all the way across. You guys can see I'm in the what used to be mine and Mike's storage area but is now my side of the shop because he's got so much going on with project stuff over there customer stuff over there so we decided to just kind of split it up here and i came over to this side so i've been really trying to get it a little bit more dialed to fit my needs and uh recognizing that i don't have near near the uh tools that mike does but that's all right. Make do with what we got. I'm not uh, very familiar with messing with these OBSs either, so I'm uh, a bit in new territory. So some of the stuff I'm gonna save, some of it I am not. But for now, I'm just gonna take every bolt I got, ooh, and not put it in that, put it in something different. How about this uh, r and box that has something we got going for this truck, like a cool little adapter for a Memphis radio in the dash. So we got that, I'm gonna use that as a, a little bolt box here. And then pull this puny, I mean puny, little radiator out of here, but first, let me pull this. Uh, let me pull this toolbox over here, so I don't have to walk so far. I've spent a lot of my time this uh, first part of the day getting this to where I could actually use it. It's an old box I got from TTR. 
a couple years ago. I've actually gotten two snap-on boxes from TTR. This one um, is a roll cart, one of their big roll carts. I think it's like 40 inches or something like that. And then Mike, the first one I actually got from TTR is a, was a full like 56 inch Epic or something like that. So this one is, uh, is my snap-on roll cart. I'll be using it. So thankfully, this uh, cable here is all stripped out. So fun, so much fun. Get this first one going and then probably have to knock this on. This seven, so it's eight millimeter on the battery. Get this one all off. Then I'm probably gonna have to, like I said, knock this other one on. That's seven to uh, be able to get it off. So let's see how this is gonna work. Oh yeah, like a charm. So yeah, we'll definitely be replacing these battery cables as you guys probably guessed. But we're gonna make the best of it. So now that I got that out of the way, probably gonna go ahead and just bust that right off. I'm kind of prolonging messing with this radiator. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take some time and see if I can get some of this stuff before I even mess, have to mess with that. Yeah. Yo, dude. Don't wanna mess with your shot. No, I'm good. Okay, cool. Just uh, how's it going? Oh, I mean, I'm moving real slow. I went and got lunch. <laughs> I went, I like you know, <laughs> you're moving like I do. I've been piddling, man. I hear piddling you hard. The problem is this thing's so low, I can't like do much Never. under on the underside. Never you're right. Problem. You're right. <laughs> so I gotta get that out yeah. and then get this other one out. There's down there. Here. Is the other one down on the? There's one here underneath, and then there's one. Looks like there's one right here somewhere. Isn't that part of that bracket? Or maybe it's right there. Actually, no, it's, God, it's got two. Yeah. Well, why don't I just, I got that off. I'm just gonna leave that attached to the inner fender. Yeah, that'll be fine. Air doesn't work. There's no reason this, is, this probably has no like charge or freon probably. or anything. Yeah, okay, I would so break just done. break it loose and be done. Yeah. All right, cool. Man, I'm having a ball. Good. You know what I mean? Yeah, it seems like it. I'm just trying to figure it out. I've been trying to get my, I got my whole toolbox set up. All right, so I think the next thing I'm gonna do is work to get this radiator out. Like I said, I think it's got just a bunch of water in it. I don't think it has any antifreeze in it, so probably yank it out in a pretty crude way, but hopefully not make too much of a dang mess. Y'all probably hear Wesley and his Suburban, 6-0 Suburban leaving out of here. And this sucker, like this ain't just sitting in here. It's not even, not even bolted down. So I think this is more like along the, I think from what I've learned, OBSs have a couple of different radiator sizes. And um, I'm sure some of you guys who know these trucks a lot better than I do can tell me about it, but I think there's like a 30, 31, 32, something like that inch radiator. And there's like a 40 inch radiator, which comes all the way into these areas here. And I think that's what I'm gonna try to put back in here. Um, Travis at AZ Pro has got a sweet, OBS uh, LS swap setup that I think is gonna be really cool. Now we're probably gonna get into some trans fluid here. Let me wait on that one for just a second. Go ahead and undo this heater hose down here. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty excited about that. I hadn't even reached out to him yet. So Travis, I wanna run your AZ Pro LS swap radiator in this truck especially since we got your React stuff on here. You guys may see me cut a bunch of stuff. Not, not using, we're not using a lot of this stuff. I know I haven't told you what the engine and trans is, but this truck's getting a cool engine and trans swap and new radiator, really all new systems here. Um, we're gonna keep the stock brake stuff right this moment, but ultimately, um, we won't, so I'm just gonna cut that off right there. And like I said, this, this thing's just got water in it. 
Oh, I think the thing is definitely overheated quite a bit, even though it runs great, especially after it gets going. Um, it runs fantastically, but I think it's been overheated before. Truck's just been run through the freaking ringer. So we're about to make a mess here, with at least with some water and maybe something chalky or muddy. Guys, let me know down in the comments. I'm probably gonna say this a lot throughout this video because I'm trying a bunch of new stuff, but you're probably gonna be seeing me work on my trucks a little more by myself. Obviously, you'll still see a lot of the guys around too, but I'm trying to tackle some of this stuff on my own, try to slow down a little bit, maybe build a nicer vehicle. As you guys know, when you get in a rush, it kind of changes sort of the quality of the vehicle and the outcome of it. So I don't know. Let me know down in the comments if you like this kind of content from the United by Trucks channel. Because you're probably going to be seeing a little more of it. This truck's so low, I can't even get anything under it to even catch any fluid that's coming out. And I'm trying to get this done pretty quickly, so a mess may ensue. See what kind of mess this is gonna make when I puncture this lower radiator hose. Oh yeah, just a little water. Never hurt anybody. Oh, it's got a little antifreeze mixed in it. Gotta love that. There it went. Get that old son of a gun out of here. Like I said, guys, I'm literally just tearing this thing apart. I, I don't know the order that I should be really. A lot of times on C10s, we'll get the radiator and stuff out, come out front and then do fenders off. But I'm gonna uh, just take this thing apart as, as I feel like it's gonna come apart. That seems like something that would be worth something to somebody um, if you're an OBS fella. I think I'll just leave that on for now. Yep. There's a cool light, underhood light. Not really sure what I was holding that in, but it don't feel like much. I'm starting to track a little antifreeze or a little water around. Let me get some kitty litter, I'll be right back. I'm gonna bust. I think I'm gonna work on getting all this uh, AC stuff out of the way. This truck has had not had AC in a very long time, so we don't have to really worry about uh, releasing any gases in the air. We're just gonna we're just gonna go after knocking that joker out. Now I can see. I could probably just hit that with an impact now. So let's try that. Well, that didn't go as expected. <laughs> let me uh, let me open the door real quick. Let some of that out. 
all fun and games right there golly uh you can see why i don't have a door open because it's just so hard to see in here because it's so bright outside but yeah took that took that off and didn't expect anything to be in there and boy was i wrong um just shot that stuff all in my face all over my arms just a fun time so this is where uh where i'm putting all the stuff i don't want got a little utility hooked up to smoke dog and we're gonna keep working here so i'm gonna get this off try to get these hoses out of here just keep uncovering this mess look at all this what a mess all right so you'll notice i went ahead and got the balance off i think it was torn up so i just pulled it off but i'm getting ready to just take this grill off real quick apologies for the music you're about to hear some some time lapse here I'm gonna take this bumper off. The bolts are, I got bolts on top and then on the bottom and it's an 18. So while I'm under here, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get the core support loose. I know that there's still more to do on the fenders. I'll probably pop in there, undo the inside of the fender. There's one bolt here, <clears throat> one bolt on the inside. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and get that loose and see what that does. So here we go. All right, we're about to jack this front end up. All right guys, so I was gonna try to do this without taking the wheels and tires off but oh, up front, but that's not possible. So there's some bolts you gotta get to up in the inner fender. Um, and this truck's so low, you just can't even get up in there. So I'm gonna pull these front two wheels and tires off and uh, we'll go from there. Hey, let me know down in the comments for the third time in this video, if, uh, if you've pulled your front, front clip off your OBS before. Um, like I said, pretty good amount of difference from 6772, 7387 stuff, but uh, I think it's gonna work out just fine. You guys see that sun right there? That is awesome. Wonderful sunset. But during the day, it's coming all through there and shining right on this door. So I have to keep it closed during the day because it gets too hot and it's terrible for filming. But uh, I'm gonna set you out here and kind of let you see what uh, what we got going in here. Yeah, so these are either gonna be 15 or 13. Let's see. Looks like 13. And I'm literally just taking out the bolts that are running through the front of the inner fender into the course board. Woo, we got some movement out of that one. And I think I got one right here on top. That may be it for the fender. It's not, it's close. Oh, there we go, baby. Now we talk. Oh, they have one at the bottom there. Oh, one clip still coming in here. Let's see. 
Need a pair of pliers or something. That's all I got in. Woo! Looks like we got a little seven millimeter right there. Man, that's one thing I hate about when you're tearing these parts, these trucks apart. Is they always seem to have a little something. Look at this mess I got. Is that smaller than a seven? Okay. Fender and inner fender. Seven. Ah. All right, let's go put this up. fender out of here. All right, I'm gonna repeat the same thing on the other side for the inner fender and the uh, fender. Let me sweep some of this up, because my gosh. Guys, look at this mud right here I'm dealing with. Look at this corner, I gotta get this is where that little bitty bolt that was giving me trouble is. I just went and grabbed something that was handy to get all this out. Because I'm going to go ahead and get that. There we go. Gosh, but look at that. It's just caked. I mean, this is just caked in here. I'm so pumped to get this cleaned up. There we are, folks. Look at that. Yes, sir. Now we're making some progress. It took me a, a lot to get going today because, well, I want to get the shop all sorted out, get my tools sort of laid out. You know, I've relied on Mike and his side of the shop over there so much, and I'm really getting myself sort of set up here. I'm going to get that bolt out right there, and then I'm going to get all these around the perimeter right here then i got one like right up here somewhere and then two in here and then th all this is going to come off so let's do it all right folks so fenders off a lot of stuff out of the engine bay off Let's get the center fender out of here. Man, that's a mess. Scrap pile. So I'll probably call it there for today after I get the core sport off. Then I'll come back in tomorrow night, pull the engine and trans, and then spend another evening really getting all this cleaned up. I mean, I definitely got to get some of this stuff off the firewall. I want to get it cleaned up. And I've got some... Um, some of the automotive touch-up paint that I always use on these builds, I'll probably just spray the firewall with that. It is the base coat, I think this is base coat Chevy 32, and I think this is the brown. I could be wrong about that though. Anyway, I have the, I have the medium brown metallic that matches the firewall somewhere if it's not right there. And then I even have some of the sandalwood, but this is where we are. That baby's hot right there. There it is. Day two. You can see that sun just a shining. But day two, if you remember yesterday, we got the whole front clip off. And what I'm doing real quick before I start to try to pull this engine and trans, I gotta confess a little boo-boo. When I went to put these coilovers in, um, these are the QA1 Pro coils that basically just bolt into the stock OBS control arms and then mount here, just like the stock shock and coil assembly does. But 
where I messed up is, and, and some of you called it out. And I, I really just got it in my head to do it this way because this is how the stock shock uh, mounts is from the bottom of the control arm. But this Pro Coil, we want to mount it on the top of the control arm. So confessing my boo-boo, but letting you guys know this is how it should be installed. So this is the side that I messed up on. As you can see, the bottom of the Pro Coil, the QA1 Pro Coil is actually mounted right there on the bottom of the control arm. So what I'm gonna do, and I've already got the other side undone, I'm gonna show you what it looks like, but I'm gonna put it on the top and then put those bolts from the top down. So on the other side, this was on the bottom of the control arm and I had the bolts run up through it and the nut on top. What I'm doing now, this one's correct. I'm gonna have it on the top with bolt running down, nut on the bottom. Um, so that should do the trick. Just wanna tell you guys that these Pro Coils are really, really cool. They help you get this coil over stance and adjustability and performance really, really quick. These are just single adjustable, but you saw the stance I'm able to get out of it. Uh, we don't, haven't really tested the performance, but we will here soon, but getting this fixed and then uh, we'll proceed with pulling the motor and trans and getting this whole front end cleaned up. Cause look at all this. Yikes. And I gotta leave with this thing in two days. Always on a rush, even though I'm trying to slow down. All right, guys, we're back. This is the second evening, technically day three. Got a good afternoon going on Sunday. When I started this Monday evening, spent out here messing with the, fixing the coilovers, and Mike came over, we ended up chatting. So um, today's the day we're pulling the motor in trans and starting to get all this cleaned up. So I gotta leave in like two days, so I got a lot to do, and I'm really, I've, as you know, only been able to do this on the evenings, or in the evening, so uh, yeah, we got a lot to do. So let's get started. I'm gonna be taking the drive shaft out. I'm gonna be um, taking the trans loose from the mount, getting the motor mount bolts out, and we may have an exhaust hanger or a piece of exhaust we gotta deal with on the other side. So uh, probably have some wiring to disconnect too, and uh, gonna get started right now. So this thing's so low I can barely even get under it. Get her jacked up a little bit. Let's make this thing safe. Solid as can be, sweet. Sorry I don't have an under truck view for you right now, but I'm kind of in a hurry, so I'm gonna hustle. Drive shaft out. See if we can break something. That's probably what's gonna happen. I got myself so bound up under here. <laughs> Y'all probably can't see any of this, but I dang sure do. All right, that one's off completely. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Collector's off. Nothing broke. That's a win. All right, now it's engine.
Big guns are coming, but first, sound like he's making a mess. Or making a racket. Also, I know I say it all the time, but I cannot live without these TKO wipes. I've already wiped my, really my whole arm off and got it all cleaned up, but these things are insane. I got a bunch of fuel on me too. Ugh, undoing those fuel lines under there. So, these will at least get most of that off. Dang, love it. been getting busy on this fork lift. Check out them chrome wheels, son. Oh, hopefully it's gonna be the last time you're gonna see that in that truck. I gotta burn cardboard tonight. Do you? Cardboard burning tonight. Cardboard burning tonight. trans out now i gotta clean off that firewall except for the brake stuff and start cleaning up the frame and get this thing just nice and as clean as i can for the new transplant so i'm gonna clean all this off and uh here we go got a little sweet patina get gone degreaser fresh bottle appreciate that freshy blake gonna go ahead and start spraying all this especially since i got such a mess under the truck i'm just gonna let it just drip right here and then clean everything out as i'm as I move the truck, but while I'm cleaning off the firewall, I'm just going to spray everything here and hopefully it'll start dripping. That's the stuff you want right there. That's what you want. Get gone degreaser by Sweet Patina. Here. This is something I did not know until I started, but to get this off, which is feeds all over there, um, you have got to Come inside, open up the dash, and take out the inner liner, four screws on each side, and then tediously and awfully unplug this from the ECU. I went ahead and unplugged all sorts of stuff, probably unplugged more than I needed to, but um, yeah, man. Getting this firewall cleaned off is a chore. I thought getting the motor out would be the be the issue, but nope. So I'm gonna keep working out here. Hopefully I can pull this through. It has a little fastener or a little clip on that side and I got it to go through and then it's gonna ah, I'll pull it from the other side, I believe. Then hopefully all that's coming through. Let's see, like that, there we go. And dude, guys, I can't even explain 
how dusty and dirty it is under that dash. Like this whole thing in here is really something. See, everything's just so brittle. I mean, it just breaks off. So I'm gonna do this really quick because the neighbor has got music blaring over here, which is, is new. So making it a little hard to film. I have found myself in a position like many of you at home where I've started tearing into this thing and it needs to go all the way down to the frame. The cab needs to come off, the bed needs to come back off, and I really need to be able to clean up all this mud and grease and just, rust surface rust and really make this thing a little bit better <laughs> um, i know that when i started this build i was talking down and dirty i was talking about how we were going to do this quickly well i've got some really nice parts for this truck and i am really wanting to make sure that we're doing these parts justice and so i'm going to tear this thing down and we're going to slow it down a little bit and we're going to make a really cool OBS race truck, street truck driver that, uh, that we can all get out and really enjoy. So, so let me give you an idea of what I'm talking about. So you can look in here as we begun to tear this thing apart. I mean, just look in these areas right here, how nasty, I mean, it's just everywhere. And while that's cool and I'm used to dirty trucks, um, it runs all the way under. I mean, if you guys remember what the rear of the frame looked like when we started the uh, coilover react four link coilover, I mean, it's just dirty back there. And honestly, I just want to make this a better truck. But this is the end of the teardown video for this portion. Uh, the next time you see us, we'll probably be talking engine and trans, and then we'll be right back into tearing this thing apart. Um, I've got some exciting things happening uh, that include a move, that include all sorts of other things that I'll be willing to tell you about in the next couple of weeks. But what it's gonna result in is a lot more content. So I want you guys to hang tight. We got a lot coming on this truck. We actually got a lot coming on Teddy this year. Uh, cannot wait to tell y'all the big plans we have for that truck but this video is about this obs 88 obs and uh kind of where we've come to with a plan on making this thing better so we're gonna wrap this video up right here and then uh the next time we see you we'll be talking engine and trans Okay guys, that's gonna do it for this episode of United by Trucks. Thank you for tuning in to this teardown video. Really appreciate it. I'm super excited about the progress we made on the truck, um, but really even more excited about what we're gonna be doing in the future and what the build plan encompasses for this truck. We're gonna kind of be rolling it out pretty slowly here. So I hope you stick around. We got more videos coming, trying to get them out a lot sooner. Like I said, some big news coming that will really help on the content front and uh, hopefully make this a little more regular so thank you guys for tuning in and uh, we'll catch you next time right here on united by trucks